Motherfucking mini episode. Mini episode. Motherfucking mini episode. Yippee ki yo, yippee ki yay, wanna rock your body, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, little mamas and Gentiles alike, to another phenomenal episode of My Mama Told Me. Yeah, the podcast where we dive deep, deep into the pockets of black conspiracy theories. And we finally work to prove the conspiracy theories of you, the listener. That's right, y'all. It's a motherfucking mini episode. Motherfucking mini episode. And and we've got an exciting one. We got an email. Some would say a public announcement. Public announcement, you say. I haven't read it yet. You know more than I do about this email. As soon as I read it, I couldn't wait for you to read. It's been like, this is going to be the highlight of my day. Oh, shit. This is exciting. I got, we got an email. I'm going to read it. It's from a person named John. John sent us an email and they, the, the subject line is just food safety, which feels very um, clinical. It doesn't, it doesn't offer a lot, but I'm excited to see what this, this is. John said, uh, you guys should leave food safety and truly scientific shit alone. <laughs> You don't know what you're talking about. Keep <laughs> believing your stupid third world shit. Whoa, about how to clean chicken. It's just making your chicken less juicy and making everyone question if black people actually cook better. <laughs> Africa doesn't have the FDA. <laughs> Washing your chicken ain't doing shit versus cooking it. Let's each eat a pound of wings. Yours can be washed and raw and mine will be cooked. And we can see who gets sick first. Wow. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) God damn it. John. (laughs) <laughs> John, why did you speak to us this way? <laughs> you obviously listened to the podcast. What? Why are you talking to us in such a bigoted way? <laughs> He's so angry. He's furious. He's a deeply racist, crazy man <laughs> yelling at us about uh, washing chicken. He's also an idiot. He's, He's a- an African... Africa doesn't have an FDA. <laughs> Which, by the way, I looked it up for the purposes of this. First of all, Africa doesn't have an FDA because Africa is a group of countries, not a single unit. It's you the, fucking that's the moron. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, that's the- Sierra Leone does. We have it's the SLBD. This uh, what's it called? I can't find it, but they do because. Countries have that. And also, every country has some version of a food and safety. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> and also, this fool, this stupid, stupid man, he thought that we weren't cooking the chicken at all. He, oh, right. He thinks we're just washing it <laughs> and then taking a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Just giving it a good, a good scrubbing and then a nibble. And then he listens. And he's like, he's so mad. He's like, these are the people who say everybody says a good cook. These people can cook. They don't even cook that chicken. He's like, you monkeys are wasting all the juices. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be eating my juicy wings over here. <laughs> Why would I put you fucking dick dog? And I absolutely mean every word that I'm saying. You true imbecile, you fucking moron. You're an idiot. Oh man, what a stupid, stupid man. You're you a didn't stupid even person. listen deep enough to understand that we were gonna cook the chicken. We cooked the chicken, you idiot. That's you th- it's literally the it's literally the thing that black people are most concerned with is cooking it. We we fry our shit hard. Hard. There's not even, it's a term. Hard fried. Hard fried my wings. It's not even up for debate whether or not you cook it. Have you seen how we eat steak? It's egregious. It's not. It, black people ain't tartar nothing in their life. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you 
fucking idiot. You think you don't think you would have heard about this? It took us. You listening to us was the first time you heard that black people weren't cooking their chicken. That's just, it, you're you're a nutcase, sir, John. Uh, Hilarious though. Le- very and funny. He was listening <laughs> to the whole thing getting activated. I wonder what the point was because it was clearly after something I said where he was like, "You get your third world bullshit yeah. out of here." He was big mad at you, I think, specifically. <laughs> and maybe maybe it was just, he's just fucking... lashing out, you know what I mean, in a general African sense, but it does feel for very sure. targeted at you. For, for sure. It. For sure he's lashing out in a general sense. But also... Because <laughs> guess what, idiot? You didn't get paid to write that email, but I got paid to read it, you <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> My third world bullshit. Fuck. <laughs> he came in hot, man. He was so he listened, and then I think we can say the name. It has to be a pseudonym, right? Yeah, I don't think this this can't be his real name. So he went to his burner. He went to his burner email. You know the same email he uses to send messages to million dollars worth of game and drink chips. <laughs> <laughs> You niggers with your Hennessy. <laughs> I'll be here with my cold Bud Lights, and we'll see who gets drunk first. Hot Hennessy versus cold Bud Light. Cold Bud Light wins every time. Like, bro, we're not drinking it hot. No, we're well, drinking hot Hennessy. Also, <laughs> brother, don't think I haven't thought about being entered into a wing off. It's not going to be with a man named John Smith. No. That's for goddamn sure. And it's also crazy that you're like, you make a pound of wings and you and I'll make a pound of wings. It's like, wh- why? It's just, just if it's wings, just, just wings, man. What, what's happening with like this weird uh, measurement that you're you're restricting us to? A pound of wa- raw wings. Even if I did eat raw wings, of course I'll get sick after a pound of them. What is he talking about? He's out of his mind. What is he talking about? He's funny, though. He's a funny guy. He's so funny. (laughs) It's so funny, it makes me feel like maybe this is fake. It's 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 trolling for sure. (laughs) It's trolling for sure. But the way that it's written, it does feel very reactionary. Like he heard it and just sent some shit off. Yeah. It's fascinating because it, you guys should leave food safety and truly scientific shit alone. That part of it, I almost thought he was going to try to like really school us on some shit. Do you know what I right. mean? Like he was going to be like, actually, here's evidence of this and this and this. And in the episode, I thought I did a pretty good job. You literally of, explained it. Yeah, of explaining that like actually washing the chicken is probably not the most effective thing that we should be doing. And like studies show that or science certainly uh, attests to the fact that if you wash your chicken, you could be potentially spreading worse diseases than than you had in the first place. That's that I think we were that's still why he's mad at me, though. Right. Because you, very, I, you like, said that I comprehended it and was still like, I'm going to wash my chicken in my third world bullshit. Damn. Third world also is developing nation bullshit. Yeah. Brother, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be a racist, be an up to date racist. Don't come on, man. Don't be a nineteen fifties racist. Be a twenty twenty four racist. Also, it's funny to think it I this must be trolling too, because like, do you not know what we do here? We don't. What do you want? You don't want us to talk about science? What do you think is happening? <laughs> that's our whole thing is is talking poorly about science. Yeah, that's how I've made my money. <laughs> that's how Papa gets sick. That's how I get commas in my bank account, bro. <laughs> John... Smith, if that is in fact your real name, thank you. First Dude, and foremost, for your I mean, email. I have more I want to talk about on this. Just because no, please. Yeah. He also says making everyone question if black people actually cook better. Mm. That's so crazy to me because I didn't. I think that's not even a stereotype. I think that might just be a fact. I don't think anybody questions that. I've never heard anyone question it. I've yeah, never heard anyone question that. I think if, if you get into like now, health, uh, 
situations with food, maybe I understand there's the the opportunity there. But I don't think anyone's ever said that black people don't cook tasty food or yeah, even our, questioned it. Our taste scores are are off the charts now. Now we our, invented fried chicken, you fucking dweeb. Our keeping our feet scores are are <laughs> those numbers are not great. I'm but, gonna kill you. <laughs> 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 Big Mama, your I arm numbers. I rather check myself before I wreck myself. <laughs> Big, Big Mama, Mama your, your arm, arm numbers are, are Mama, yeah. not good. But you better believe that grease that she burned her arm in was delicious. Oh, it was seasoned. That tastes good. It was old grease. Oh, I love old grease. <laughs> that was old grease. That was old grease. Before, before you were arm. born, John Smith. <laughs> her mother's arm was in that before then. <laughs> yeah. And her mother's mother's arm was in that before her. <laughs> Everybody burned their arm in that grease, and it tastes good. Oh, sweet, sweet old grease. Man. <laughs> this is. I'm really glad I got to witness that. I love the wing off about it. Yeah, I that's the other crazy part of it is is you're speaking so coarsely to us and then also expecting that we would meet up for wings. Like yeah. in what world do you call do you call us a, a bunch of apes and then afterwards we go, Well, we gotta compete with the wings. Yeah. We gotta we gotta what, see if the, the truly, wing off is one of my it. more treasured experiences is sharing wings with the people I love. Yeah, it's not. It's not a lot of times your... in a park. Mm-hmm. So, like, why would it? Just, it he's speaking to us as if he was never a fan. Yeah, and yet it seems to be uh, digging into the mini episodes, which means oh, no, that was a that was a real episode. So who knows? Still. Maybe that's the first episode John listened to, and uh, immediately what brought him here? angry. Uh, that's what what I wonder. I had nothing I, about what we're we're. I worry pitching. it was me. You think he might have been like, "I'm <laughs> a big David saw, Bory fan." I think he saw me somewhere in Denver, and he was like, "This is not what I had signed up for." He was like, "His his stand up comedy is so reasonable." <laughs> 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 yeah, his material is grounded. His approach to the game is uh, is is so regulated. That uh, <laughs> clearly his podcast must do something similar and then was hugely disappointed. Hugely disappointed. And to that, I say, <laughs> suck my dick. Suck David's dick. Suck my dick. Uh, <laughs> suck my dick. Suck jump. his raw, uncooked dick. Come on. John. Man. Give you <laughs> me a good old rub. <laughs> All right. I think we did it. I think, yeah. that, it was bad I think that nails it. You, fuck you, John. But but David, where can they find you? Cool guy jokes eighty seven on Instagram, Patreon dot com backslash David Bory G B O R I E. If you want to purchase my special Birth of a Nation, and I will be in Dallas, Texas, at the Dallas Comedy Club, August twenty third and twenty fourth. You came out so much for me last time. I really appreciate it. Come on back out. We're gonna. It's jokes you've never seen before. Some of them good. Admittedly, some of them bad. None of them about chicken. <laughs> we'll get some chicken jokes in there. Yeah, I mean, I gotta. I'm, I'm still building the hour. You gotta fill a whole hour. You're gonna do some chicken jokes. I'm gonna touch on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you want to see my special, August twentieth, I believe it. This is this is maybe coming out tomorrow, which means that August twentieth next week, next Tuesday on Netflix, it's called Bad Poetry. It's it's my proudest achievement, and uh, John Mulaney directed it, so I'd love for you to check it out. Uh, and as always, if you want to send us your own drops, your own conspiracy theories, if you want to challenge John Smith to a shoot-off, uh, <laughs> name the place and the time in our emails at mymamapod at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. And as always, uh, like subscribe, rate, review, uh, buy some merch, buy your freedom, do whatever you need to do. Bye, bitch. Would you say that you're racist? Not at all. No. Yeah. Look at my dog. He's as black as can be. Motherfucking mini episode. 
mini episode. Motherfucking mini episode. Motherfucking mini episode. Mini episode. Motherfucking mini episode.